fishing and winter sports show is coming up this weekend in St. Paul. Runs Friday through Sunday over at the River Center, but I, our uh, Kylie Burris is getting an early preview. Kylie, you have the hookup to get in there with, oh, we've got a, a cool hat on now, huh? Oh, why, thank you. I'm so glad you noticed. Do you like the pom-pom on top, too? Oh, very stylish. Thank you. I appreciate it. So there's going to be a lot more that you can find here, and it starts tomorrow. But we're so lucky this morning that we're getting a little bit of an early sneak peek. And I've got Matt here with us. And you, this has got to be something you look forward to every absolutely, year, right? Absolutely, absolutely. One of my favorite times of year. Yeah, and this, we're getting into winter. Eventually, those temperatures are going to drop. And so you've got a lot of really cool equipment that you're going to be showing off this year at the show. Absolutely. We got a packed house full of gear for anyone that comes down to check out ice fishing. Awesome. Okay, so let's start with some of the what's new this year, or maybe what's unique. So many new stuff. We have yeah. new fish houses. Uh, a lot of different options from pop-ups to flip-overs. Keep it nice and warm. This one happens to be a dark house, so you don't see much inside, okay. which is nice. Been a big demand. Uh, we have a lot of new stuff from uh, like rod and reel combos, everything from uh, line to lures, all the stuff. If you're looking to get more hands-on and look at some of that kind of stuff, all the vendors will have them on hand. If you want to look at some of the new clothing options, we have new suits and all that kind of stuff. Let's show off this suit yeah. because this is pretty incredible. Of course, I mean, staying warm is the priority, but safety is also huge. Absolutely. That's the new Ascent float suit from Clam Outdoors, and that has the float properties. So if anything was to happen, it keeps you upright, keeps you warm, very comfortable, all the bells and whistles for a day on the ice. You can keep your phone safe and dry, which is a big one. You know, we take our devices on the ice, our smart devices. We're taking pictures. It keeps your phone dry, keeps you warm so you can be out there fishing. So it's kind of like a life jacket and a winter coat in one? It certainly can be that, you bet. Really cool. Okay, and then, of course, we've got the auger yep. behind us here, which... Oh, hang on, hang on. I'm coming over to you. Okay, Sorry. tell me about the auger. Yep, so the auger, nowadays, a lot of people are turning to electric. So we're actually using a cordless drill to power that. Oh, wow. So you're not using gas. You're not using that sort of stuff. It doesn't stink up the fish house. You're using the cordless drill to cut holes in the ice. And, we're of course, quick. we're looking at kind of the different pop-up houses yep. that we have here right now. There's everything from kind of the single person to, uh, I guess, maybe a little bit bigger. Absolutely. Absolutely. So if you want to just run and gum with the one person, you can do that. If you want the whole family to go out, so if my wife and four kids want to go ice fishing, you can take a big one like this, fully thermal, very comfortable, easy to set up in the back of a minivan and go ice fishing. Okay, so as the expert ice fisher, when I look for an ice house, I look for something like color. And I found bright pink. I love this one. And inside, we have Ryan here with us from the show. Good morning. Good morning. Tell me a little bit about why this show is so much fun for people who, you know, love this sport. Well, it's uh, at a great the timing is great because it's before, you know, a lot of times it's before we have a lot of ice. Um, people have put their boats away for the year and um, the fishermen can come and sort of get some early Christmas shopping in. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the timing really does work out nicely. How many different vendors can people find here? Um, we have just over 200 this year and um, we have everything from people doing stuff in their in their garages, making new products to, you know, up to wheelhouses. Awesome, and this is so much fun to be in an ice house like this. I guess, I mean, I, I, I made a little bit of a fib earlier. I'm not an expert ice fisher. I've never even been in an ice house. It's cool to see all the different varieties that they can come in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, that's that's a great part about this show is we have new products coming out every year, yeah. and um, uh, you know we have tons going on at the show. We have seminars. We have um, new for this year is the Marvel characters will be here Saturday and Sunday. Captain awesome. America and Iron Man. And um, so, yeah, it'll, it'll be a great time. It should be a lot of fun. You get started tomorrow. What time? Uh, the show opens a v special VIP for maybe people that don't want to wait in line. Um, opens at 11 a.m. and goes till 1. And then the general admission opens at 1 p.m. Awesome. And we're going to put all that information at WCCO.com slash links. Really fun to get a little bit of a sneak preview, guys. I also uh, have acquired some gloves this morning. These are very, very intense. Um, they're just huge. Apparently, when you're sitting on ice all day, it's important to have just massive gloves to keep you warm. Well, you, you are a meteorologist, Kylie. I think you would understand how uh, incredibly <laughs> cold it gets out there. Yeah, but so they've got heaters that you can put in these, and then sure. when you're in them, the, you know, the wind blocks it. I've learned a lot this morning. That's good. You're, you're going to come with us every year here at CCO. We have a big ice fishing trip. Ice fishing I'm excited around. for it. Yep, and Sorry. I already have the hat to go along with it. You know, feel you good. Feel prepared. <laughs> now you just need to learn how to fish. Hey, you know what? One time I caught a fish. There you go. One time. There you go. It's One time in. I did. Perfect. Very good. Kylie Burris is live. The St. Paul Ice Fishing and Winter Sports Show at the River Center. Hey, Kylie. Hey, Jason, this is so much fun because I think people are really starting to get excited for outdoor winter sports, including ice fishing. And we've got John here with us this morning. I know you're getting kind of excited, right? 
Absolutely. Uh, the northern half of the state's got some walkout ice, even though the southern half's a little brown and a little open water, but it's coming. Yeah, and it's just it's just a drive away right now. But for those who are getting excited about buying new gear, this is the perfect place to come. Absolutely. I mean, there's so many vendors here, you know, not only us, but Reed's, Joe's, uh, Marine General, just anything you want to find for ice fishing, you're going to find it here at the St. Paul Ice Fishing Show. So you are from Thorn, right? Thorn Brothers? Thorn Brothers. Thorn yep. Brothers. Okay, perfect. And you have some of the new things and kind of what's exciting this year. Walk us through some of it. Um, you know, if everybody, or not everybody, but a lot of people are out there using live bait. So you've got a, a insulated, aerated minnow bucket here from Engel Coolers. Uh, keep your bait in there, and then there's a rubber seal around it. So if it does tip over, your minnow stay inside and happy and swimming around. Oh, perfect. Okay. And I love the rods. I mean, there's some that you can see looks like for kids and then also for the adults, too. Well, you know, they're all they're all basically for kids or adults. Yeah. They're ice fishing rods. But um Whatever you're fishing for, whether it's small panfish, whether it's walleyes, whether it's lake trout, pike, northerns, whatever you want, uh, there's rods and reels here to, to handle that. So I'm always impressed when we're on a boat and you can see the fish underneath with that technology. I didn't realize you could do that with ice fishing too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, some basic units, the uh, Vexlar Flasher, Vexlar's a Minnesota company that's been around forever and ever. You can drop the transducer down the hole, see your jig, see the fish, yeah. have a great time. Uh, from Markham, the Recon 5 Plus cameras where you can drop down and actually take a look at the camera Ooh. person. Uh, and then from Humminbird, the uh, probably the hottest unit this year, the Helix 7. So it's sonar and GPS in there. And then you can take the head unit off and mount it on your boat. So you've got a really a dual purpose unit for a lot of people. Oh, wow. And of course, the gear is very, very important. I'm sporting one of the hats and it's yep. really warm. It is. Uh, they've done a great job. They've got an insulated layer in there yeah. and the palm hats are just just going crazy it's it's kind of a resurgence from our youth yeah and you can see why i mean it looks amazing okay and i love i mean these boots are about as heavy duty as you get yeah heavy duty but lightweight and you know and the neat thing there um very lightweight keep your feet warm or Those aren't and dry. really light but uh, early season, when the ice is nice and slippery, just be careful out there. What you want to do is get some get some good cleats and make sure they've got cleats on the heel portion too. So when you're walking heel to toe, you're not slipping that way. Is most of the crowd that comes to the show are they mostly anglers or are there people maybe looking for gifts for family members? There's a little bit of everything, you know, yeah. whether it's uh, whether you're shopping for somebody or whether you're coming through and shopping for yourself. Or so you'd help it. people like me if I was like, hey, I need I need to buy for we, a loved one. I don't know anything. Yeah, we do that every day. Awesome. We do that every day. Okay, so it gets started tomorrow, right? What time? Yep. Um, what is it? 11 o'clock is the, uh, early the VIP. The VIP and yeah. Then 1 o'clock is the normal entrance time, and it runs uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of this week. Awesome. We'll have so much fun this weekend. I know it's going to be a lot of fun getting to talk to everyone and get excited. And thanks for getting up early with us. Lots of really cool stuff, guys. It's been kind of fun to check out all the new things. And I'm really like, I mean, you think of boots? Yeah. Those are really light. They're so light. That is nice. What what are you going to yeah. take to our annual CCO ice fishing trip, Kylie? My hat, hat my new hat sure. with the yeah. pom pom. But so let me show you. Excuse my hat hair, but like it doesn't just look like a normal hat. It's got that insulated layer. Ah, in there. see. So it's not just very good looking. Very, it's keeping you warm. Very functional too. Nice. Thanks, yeah. Kylie.